welcome to a highly requested video of building this racetrack inside of Cinema 4D. This is going to be divided in two videos. In the first video we're just going to build the meshes and in the second video we're going to texture these meshes. Let's start from the beginning. Let's delete everything. Or actually let's just disable everything. And let's start with the spline tool or the spline pen. What you're going to do is draw your track using this. So a more precise way to do that is going into your right view or the side view and then simply draw your racetrack. The reason we're, we're using this pen tool is because we can bend the points very, very smoothly. So I'll build this and I'll be right back. Okay, here is our spline. We can select all the points and this is all the points that I've placed. And this is the 3D look. So before we go ahead and fill the spline with meshes, what we need is a sweep. So you can find this sweep into this panel. So just click sweep and then you have a sweep object. Simply drag your spline inside your sweep and then you're going to need another object to actually fill this spline with. This object to fill the spline with has to be another spline object. So what you can do is simply go into this panel and select any of these shapes. For now, let's just select circle just to test it. And here we have a circle filled, but we obviously don't want a circle. So we're going to delete that and we're going to grab ourselves a rectangle. So simply drag and drop your rectangle and now you have a rectangle spline. So how do we get this rectangle into a road looking mesh? Well, that's simple. You simply go to your width and play around with the values. So now what we want is a very flat surface that looks like a road. So we can simply decrease the height value and that will give us a very, very thin layer. And that's basically all you have to do. What you can do now is simply always make, make a copy, by the way. So what we're going to do now is create a copy of this, a backup copy. And then, and then having selected these objects, we're going to make it editable. Once we make it editable, this is going to transform into one single object. And now we can work with the mesh. But now, as you can see, the mesh is not very, very straight. So to straighten that, we can grab one of these points hit rotate and enable soft selection. This will enable you to work with a lot of polygons at, at once. So playing around with this, making this like 5,000 centimeters will give you more space to play with. So you can get this basically perfect or however you might want it. And there you have your loop. The next thing that we're gonna need is obviously some side support for the vehicle since obviously the vehicle might just fall while traveling through this loop so what we're going to do is since we have this as a single object we can simply select one of these and it will select the whole entire loop so what we need from here is selecting both of these and simply delete them now what we have is a very very thin layer of polygons the reason why we need this is because now what we can do is select the outer polygons and grabbing this extrude tool and now simply drag out. Now don't worry, it goes into the opposite direction. What you can do is play around with these values. So now what we want is a simple side to prevent the players from simply driving off. To flip this into the correct side, you can change the edge angle and that will flip it into the other side. And there we have it. We have a simple kind of a wall. And that is basically how you create roads inside of Cinema 4D. Now to take this one step further, you can get the loop selection and select the inner polygons and simply make it a little bit thicker. So it actually looks like a road. So having this extrude tool selected, we're gonna click on create caps and we're gonna create a new transform. This will create a kind of a thickness to it. And now we have a somewhat of a thicker road. Since the count of these polygons is the same as these ones, we can connect these two together to create a, a, a better looking shape. So what I'm going to do is again grabbing this extrude tool and then having selected both of these, we can simply grab a point and attach it. And now we have a better looking road. So that's basically it about creating a road system inside of Cinema 4D. This very project will be uploaded in my Patreon, so you can go 
ahead and download this map for your game. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to texture this and we're going to bring it inside of Unity.